Hi Western, it's Ian Clark, your BPC Health Reporter, and today I'm here at the Campus Rec Center with personal trainer Michelle Gu. And we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions, more specifically, how to stay fit and keep true to your New Year's resolution. So Michelle, a lot of people always make the New Year's resolution that they want to get fit, they want to stay in shape. Do you find that the rec center's been a lot more busy because of that? It's so busy right now. Normally in the mornings, for example, like when I train people at 7 a.m., there's maybe, maybe eight people. Now I come in at 7 in the morning and there's at least 30 people in the gym. Like the treadmills are going, like people are wandering around the gym. It's nuts. It's packed. Now for people that kind of shy away from the big crowds, shy away from the gym, or don't want to have weights for some of the machines, when would be the best times for people to get to the gym at? Honestly, before 9 a.m. Really? Yeah. <laughs> It gets really busy after that. Like around 11 o'clock, it gets really hard to find a squat rack or any like open space because people just start taking equipment and doing it wherever they can find any open space. So, Now, when can we maybe expect to see this fizzle out? Because I know a lot of people, if they're like me, which I hope they're not, they usually give up on the New Year's resolution. So does the crowd fizzle out at all? Uh, it fizzles out after reading week because once the resolutioners fizzle out, then the spring break people come in. So it's kind of two waves that come this semester. So this term is generally a really, really busy time for the gym. So yeah, I'd say after a reading week. Now the gym can be really intimidating. Personally, I'm one of those people too. Uh, what's some advice you can give to people who are new to the gym and it can be more scary for, the, for them and they want to stay fit? What's some advice you can get them to motivate them and get them out to the gym? First of all, everyone who's wearing these purple shirts inside of the gym, uh, we give free tours around the gym. So if you come in, it's your first time, you don't know. Find someone wearing this, we'd be more than happy to take a break from cleaning the equipment and give you a tour, give you some pointers, show you which machines to use. If it's too busy to use the machines, then we can set you up with a training session. Or, you know, some of the people who do wear these shirts as the supervisors are personal trainers as well. So they can kind of give you some tips on exercises you can fit in. For the people who are still intimidated to come to the gym, I understand you have some at-home exercises that you can show us. Would you mind showing us some of them? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so one of the most popular workouts that we do, especially with clients in here, are squats. Okay, so it works the entire posterior chain, which is your back, your core, glutes, hamstrings, quads, so it's a nice full body workout. So what you do, you're gonna stand, I'll do front view and side view. So you stand with your feet just slightly wider than shoulder width. If you have hip flexibility issues, just turn your feet out and open your feet up more, just whatever you need to get to, all right? Put your arms out in front of you to counterbalance, and you're gonna sit back until your hip your hip joint reaches the center of your knee joint, and then you're gonna come up, all right? So we'll do side view. Okay, if you're worried that you're not going low enough, just go home, grab your chair and your dining room table, go until you hit it, and then stand up again. Generally, they're about the same level as your knee, all right? If this is too easy and you want some weight, grab your backpack, because I'm sure it's packed full of books and textbooks right now at this time of year. Grab your backpack, throw it on, and then you can squat that way. All right, another great one is push-ups, which everyone loves, okay? We'll show two levels of it. Biggest thing that we see in the gym when people do push-ups is they start to do the inchworm, which I'll demonstrate. Don't do that, please, don't do that, okay? It's gonna hurt your back in the long run, so you wanna make sure that your stomach stays nice and strong and you have a straight line from your foot all the way up to your shoulders. Okay, if this is too hard, drop to your knees. Same thing, straight line from your knees up to your shoulders. Okay, next one is mountain climbers. So you might have seen this also in the Gazette. It's a great one for cardio, high intensity intervals to put in between if you wanna do a circuit at home. Basically, same idea, you're gonna do a plank position like you're starting a push up. You're gonna bring your knees up into your chest and switch your feet back and forth really fast, trying to keep your hips as stable as possible, okay? No bouncing up and down, all right? One last one that's great for your core as well as for your arms. We call them elbow up and down, so from the plank position. Big important thing from this, I'll show a front view and a side view. You want to make sure that your shoulders and your hips are going up and down at the same level. So if you were to put a tray of boiling hot water on your back, it's not going to tip, it's not going to scald you, okay? So, you're going to start on your elbows like a plank. This is going to be really awkward. <laughs> you're going to put one hand where your elbow used to be and then push yourself up.
Do that about 10 times, so five times each arm. Hold the plank at the end for 30 seconds. You should feel the burn. All right, so thanks a lot. So for people who are interested in getting a personal trainer here at uh, the rec center, how can they go about that? If you go up to the membership services, which is the very front desk when you first swipe to come into the gym, they sell the packages there. So they come in a variety of different packages depending on your you know, financial situation. You can get an hour session, four, eight, 12, 20. There's also a great one, the 12 week fit. We get 36 half hour sessions, a one hour initial consult, a half hour at the end, and you're more than welcome to share a trainer. I train two people at a time all the time, so you can share the cost with your friend. It makes it more fun. That does make it more fun. Now, for people that are, want to get the personal trainer, how much can it run them? Uh, here at Campus Rec, it averages about $36 for an hour. Uh, outside gyms like Good Life, Athletic Club, I'm pretty sure it goes up to about $60, $80. So, really good deal here at the Rec Center. All right, so there you have it, Western. Some ways to stay in shape at home and here at the Rec Center, but most importantly, how to stay true to your New Year's resolution. For your Big Purple Couch Health segment, I'm Ian Clark.